Okay, up to this point, everything we did so far has been with weak assets. Okay, we also have to worry about weak bases. Okay, we treat them exactly the same way we do the acids. The major difference there is that we're going to be producing hydroxide ions and be using something called a KB instead of KA. Ammonia, okay, what you got to do is be able to write your reaction. We know that ammonia is the base in water and water is the acid. So what's going to happen is you're going to donate a proton. So we add that H plus to that ammonia, so therefore it gains its neutral species in H3, it gains that H plus, so now it's NH4 plus, and it forms hydroxide ions. We can take this equation and write an equilibrium for it, which would be your reactants, excuse me, your products over your reactants, which would be your concentration of your ammonia ion times your hydroxide divided by the ammonia, with water being liquid and not being part of the expression. Exactly the same way we've done the other equilibriums. So if we do that, We'll set up our expression. So now we have our ammonia ion concentration times our hydroxide concentration divided by our ammonia. Same way we did before. Your products over your reactants. Okay? With water being one. Okay? We don't put that because it's a liquid. Now, since we're now talking about uh, base hydrolysis, Okay, we're talking about a base plus water. We're now going to have to say, okay, it's not K anymore. We're going to call it something else. We're going to call it KB. Okay, KB, which is an indication of something called the base ionization constant. Set up the same way as your hydronium, excuse me, as your KA stuff, except now you're producing hydroxide, so it's a base problem. And we're using a KB as our ionization constant. Equilibrium involving weak bases are treated very similar to that as a weak acid. Remember, we looked at the Ka value to decide what's a stronger acid. We can do that with a base as well. The larger the Kb, the more it's going to ionize, meaning the more it's going to produce OH minuses, which means the more basic it's going to be, which means it's going to be a stronger base. So the larger the Kb, and that size of Kb is an indication of how much it ionizes, so the larger the Kb, the more it produces OH minuses because it's ionizing more, which means the stronger the base. So I can compare one species to another by looking at the KB. The one with the larger KB will be the better base, be the stronger base. Generic expression, anytime you're doing a base, you should be able to write the base hydrolysis. So if you know something is the base, the water has to be the acid. So do you know the proton's going to donate it? It's coming over there with our H plus. So if it's neutral before, now you gained that H plus. So now I have HB plus. I lost the H plus, so now I have OH minus. Set up my expression. Be my products over my reactants. In this case, it'd be HB plus concentration time concentration OH minus divided by my concentration of B. And refer to that as a KB. Homework. 31 deals with questions dealing with the setup of uh, base ionization species, okay, base ionization reactions.